welcome back to another vlog. Hey guys, I just wanted to put in a little editing note. I'm currently sitting in the airport editing this on my way back home to Colorado. Um, this vlog is very, very late. The month of October was absolutely insane for Josh and I, not only with YouTube content, Freak Week, and podcasting, and our merch drop and everything, but also my personal life's been a little bit insane. So the vlogs kind of, you know, has been my last priority, and I figured it would be better to upload these next two vlogs that I have, even though they're a little late. I know you guys still want to see them and kind of just see what our crazy month of October looked like. Um, so I hope you enjoy. So today, I am not gonna lie, I'm very stressed out right now. I guess that's not a great way to start a vlog, but try to keep it real. I am about to head to my grandmother's nursing home and see her and According to my family members, the past couple weeks since she fell has been, well, I saw her right after she fell and I thought she was doing okay because it was a few days after, but she hasn't gotten much better and her mental state's gone down. So everyone's trying to get in and see her as much as we can. It's just a really sad time. So today I wanted to bring the camera and get some footage of her. I guess my uncle said today she's doing really well, so I thought it would be a great day to bring the camera, and we're also gonna bring Sadie and my cousin's dog, Maggie. Hi guys. Hello, you ready to go? Are you gonna go? She just got groomed this morning, so it's perfect timing. All right, the two little show stoppers. These are our two friendliest dogs in the squad. Yes, so the girls. They're coming in for socialization. The boys are grumpy. The girls wanna go meet their great Grammy. You wanna go meet Grammy and go see her? Let's go see Grammy. Yeah. These two remind us of um, Kendall and I because they're best friends. Like, they, from, yeah. from the very beginning, they've been best friends. Yes. yes. They're like little dog versions. You are sweetie pie. Yes. You are a sweetie pie. Good girl, Mooch. You are a white, a white sweetie pie. Yeah. Oh, she's very strong. Kick. I want to see something crazy. Her, um, before I got her when she was a puppy, her mom. Oh yeah, explain this on the vlog because a lot of people are upset about oh, right. her okay. foot and think she's injured. So she's not limping because her foot back here, her back foot is actually missing. So if she'll stop yelp. Okay. Missing a back foot. She's missing a back foot. I can see that. Yeah, her mom chewed it off before we got her. She was in a puppy mill in a tiny cage and they get stressed out and then they sometimes will do that. Oh yeah. Isn't that wild? Yeah. Isn't yeah. that crazy? Oh, nice. But it doesn't stop her at all. Like, you can't do this. She kind of looks like she's a limp. See right here? Let me see you. Yeah, a lot of people commented like about that and were worried that she was injured or limping or something. See, she lips it. She lips it. Yeah. So I just found the vlog camera, yay. Oh my gosh, I was starting to think I lost it. We were gonna have to get another one. We just got this one. So the vlog that you were about to see is all over the place. It's over a week. I just took random clips with my phone because I lost my camera after I filmed the first clip, which is at the nursing home with my grandma. And then I didn't find my camera for the whole rest of the week. A lot was going on here and I wanted to still capture some of it. So I'm gonna put in all the clips that I did get on my phone and then we're gonna jump into today. So today is Wednesday morning, you guys, and we are about to have, it's early, they come early. We are having all of our floor ripped out today on the up, upper floor other than our bedroom. That'll get done next week. I had to put most of my plants here and, and we have this room stacked up. This room almost stacked up with more room for the rest of the furniture. They'll help us move. We are taking out this wood. It's a lot older and it's really expensive to continue it. We're taking out this entryway. I kind of like this tile. It actually grew on me, but it's pretty old and we're just going to replace it. This will be the dining room all throughout here in the kitchen and then this room as well. So we're really excited. Are you excited, buddy? It's gonna be super, super loud today. Being on this one, wax warmer. Does anyone else have this issue, like trying to find a sweet spot where it's warm enough to remove it, but not so warm that it's liquidy and gets all over your hands? But I have moved all of my stuff out of the way so that they can easily move our furniture. Other than these rooms, which are, we are actually gonna keep these ones carpet for future babies which we're not planning on anytime soon. Don't get any ideas, you know? Because people will, they'll be like, oh, they're pregnant. 100% not. How cute is this? 
my mom gave this to me. She had bought it for her dog because he was getting older. Well, my older dog, Chance, who I grew up with, he passed away in, I think, March or April, I think. But um, anyway, she ended up not needing it and they didn't really get much use out of it. So now it's a bunny stroller and I have all four of my crew in here. People always ask me like, which ones did you keep? I kept Hippo and Blaze. And the four of them get along fabulously. They're a great match. And I thought very hard about which ones would get along best with Aria and Apollo. Side right now, that's why they're acting a little bit afraid, but we are about to do some grooming because it is malting season. So I need to brush all of them. All right, the guys just wrapped up for the day. Oh my gosh, they got a lot done. Yes. Wow, that looks crazy. Wait, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you digging? <laughs> oh my gosh, you're so cute. They don't even want to stop you, but you probably shouldn't dig on those. I think this is our septic system. Oh, you're such a funny boy. No. <laughs> no, stop. Oh my gosh, it's going to get so dirty. Okay, all right, and we're done. And we're done. Probably remember a few weeks ago in a vlog i think on our instagram hello people you can settle down oh yeah our neighbors have two really cute dogs mastiffs so they're huge and sadie thinks she can take them where are they i don't know they're just barking at the car anyway we were planning to build over in this area but right now they're picking up the materials because that plan sadly did not work out explain what happened and why we're doing this down here is a basically a drainage ditch uh -huh. that runs all the way back here behind this. So this is all just overgrowth right here. Uh -huh. But back behind there, it kind of starts over there and it kind of snakes its way back there. So we have to build 75 feet from the drainage ditch that's over there to here. So that's why these stakes are here. So they literally, as we already had materials out there, they made us put the stop on that whole project no. and we no. had to find a new spot. So we put it more in the yard, but it's better because we can actually use the Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi is one, which is great. Two, yeah. power. Mm -hmm. We can connect it to power way easier, so. Mm -hmm. This has been like really stressful to deal with though, because it's oh, taken forever. Yeah, yeah. So we've been podcasting in the basement for way longer than we planned. Yeah. All right, so we are finally getting back into our room. Look at the difference though. These floors are just gorgeous. I'm going to film again in the morning. You really can't do him justice. So I'm just out here brushing Aria again. I just finished editing. So I'm going to attempt to take a picture of all the bunnies outside together on this couch. We're going to see if we can do it. <laughs> yes. Hi guys. Ready for a photo shoot? I'm here to join mama. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. No, mama, stay. <laughs> they look so cute. So these are our final four. Mile Hire Squad official. Okay, hi, welcome back. Hope you enjoyed those random clips. Today is Tuesday. I have been working like crazy filming Halloween stuff. I'm filming another Halloween video tonight. Um, today we worked on cleaning the house, getting all the dust out from the construction. There was a lot and I'm actually about to go get, I have this scrunchie in my hair right now. I'm about to go get a haircut. I desperately need a haircut. So earlier we went to TJ Maxx and we found the coolest cat tower and we're so excited to put it in here. Oh yeah, the cats are gonna love that. So unique, serious tree. And then you look up and it's got like a whole thing going on in here. It's very yeah, cool. There's a what do you think, Tuck? Oh, this is pretty nice, huh? Nice and away from the dogs. You and me both could lay up here. Yeah. All three of this them could get like on here. This is sturdy, man. Yeah, only us get, we only are the only ones that get this excited over a cat tower. I know. I'm like, this is sturdy. <laughs> <laughs> So yes, I'm going back to get my hair done today. A few vlogs ago, you guys probably saw me get my hair colored and cut, and uh, it was good. I just felt like there was a lack of communication 
about my color that I wanted and the cut that I wanted because it didn't get done. So I'm gonna try someone else. We're gonna see how it goes. Not with full on color today. We're gonna just do a haircut and test the waters. I wanna find someone I can go to consistently. I haven't had a consistent hairstylist in so long. Okay, so I'm back from my haircut and I love the way it turned out. It's a lot shorter, but she basically looked at my hair and was like, girl, this is damaged. This was over processed, over bleached basically the last time, which I did kind of notice my hair kind of had a chemical smell last time. So she was like, you know, you're better off just chopping off a lot of the damaged part. So we went with a shorter cut and I honestly love it. I feel like it looks really good, really healthy and she was great. So when I'm ready to do color again, I'm gonna go back to her. Anyways, I am about to film my third to last Freak Week video. So I have three more left, two more after tonight and it's just a lot of work. This free week every year is a ton of work. I have to like gear myself up for it. All right, so I just got done filming. I think it went pretty well. Uh, I actually really love filming at night and I never get to do my videos at night because I rely on natural lighting. So I only do this once a year for Halloween and it's kind of fun to film at night, not gonna lie. But anyway, uh, Josh went out to the store to grab a few things and then we actually have my friend Corelli coming over who was the one who adopted our bunny Athena. Some of you might remember from a couple vlogs ago this summer, we had to give up one of our rabbits because she was fighting so much with Apollo, our other male Hollenlop. It's a long story and it was a really hard decision but we ended up rehoming her to Corelli and she is doing great. And she's actually coming to stay with us for a week because Corelli has to go out of town. But I'm so excited to see Athena. I love that bunny. It was so hard to give her up and Josh and I are excited to have her for a week. Okay, she's gonna come out. Got you got Athena, hi sweetie. Oh my gosh, it's so weird to see her. I know, come on baby. Hi baby. How you doing? Hi, oh, oh my gosh, it's so good to see her. <laughs> Come on out, welcome back. Oh, she looks a little bigger. Does she? Yeah, they grow for a while. Okay. Yeah, rabbits okay. are supposed to grow for like a year and a half. She did it perfectly. She does, does a backside 180 into her litter box. Does she? <laughs> uh, and then the other day, she uh, hopped and then hopped again off of the litter box, like off the edge there, and I was like, whoa. <laughs> red. So are red. you feeding Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to see her. This is so awesome. <laughs> so Athena is here and she's doing good. She seems so happy and she's, oh my gosh, she lives such a great life with them. They love her so much. I don't want to freak her out too much by taking her out for more cuddling, so I'm just going to leave her alone till the morning because I know she's a little shooken up right now. If you're wondering, I am keeping her away from the other bunnies. That's why I have her upstairs versus downstairs with others so that she doesn't even smell them because it's very triggering to her. She's very territorial. That was the reason we couldn't keep her. She doesn't like other bunnies very much. Hi, Thini. Hi. Hi, baby. You should do good bunny. So I got a few things at Ulta today. I got more of this Revolution Conceal and Hydrate Foundation. I love this. It has hyaluronic acid in there, which is so great for dry skin. It's definitely medium to full coverage, buildable. I love it. It's so good so far. It definitely is becoming my favorite. I like that it's a glass bottle. Better for the environment. I got this um, Morphe setting spray. I actually love this setting spray, but they had the Jeffree Star version because it's like berry scented, starberry scented, so I wanted to try it just because of the scent. And then I got some Dermalogica Pre-Cleanser. I've heard a lot about this. I have been having some major skin struggles the last couple months, and I have been trying so many different skin things, so I am switching to this as my pre-cleanser, and then I also got cleanser for dry skin. My, um, I saw an esthetician who told me my skin was just super, super dry. So this is their intensive moisture cleanser. And then this is also supposed to help with hydration. This is the Ultra Repair Cream by First Aid Beauty. So I'm gonna try out all of those tonight. I love trying out new skincare. I'm literally getting on my knees to make this camera angle work. All right, so I'm gonna wash my face. Like I said, my skin's been bad. I have never experienced issues with my skin. I've been really lucky. My, like even hormonal puberty time, I didn't experience a lot of acne, but I've been getting this bizarre adult acne at 26. Hormonal, I've switched up my birth control a little bit this year. Um, I mean, I need to probably see a dermatologist in, but I've been trying to fix it on my own, and I've been following a pretty strict 
skin care regimen. If you guys want to see like a skin care routine, I honestly don't even want to do one until my skin looks good because I feel like why would you want to see my routine if I don't even know if it's working? My skin care routine is like in the making, you know what I mean? We'll kind of show you what I do for now, but you know, I'm still testing things, finding the right products for me because I've never really had to care that much up until this year. Well, this pre-cleanser basically is an oil cleanser. I normally, I always use an oil cleanser. I normally use the Force Ray Beauty one. This is the BFE cleansing oil. I've also used the Tatcha one and that one's good too. Um, all right, now that my water's heated up, I'm gonna turn this off. So you basically use a pre-cleanser if you've never heard of this before an actual cleanser. <laughs> Another thing I did not know anything about until I started really researching skincare and trying to get tips online and stuff. So basically you use this on a dry face, like with makeup and everything, and it pulls off all the oil. I've never tried this specific one. I'm, this is my first time, but I heard it's really good. And I honestly can't imagine not using a pre-cleanser because even when I use a pre-cleanser, a Meissler water, and a regular cleanser, sometimes I still find makeup on my toner pad. This is just another way to get yourself clean. It pulls all the oil, like oil attracts oil, so that's how it works. And then I've also been using this tip of washing my face for at least 60 seconds, if not longer, and I got that from LA Butologist on Twitter. Um, her YouTube channel, I don't know if it's also LA Butologist, but she has a whole video about the 60 second rule and why you should wash your face for at least 60 seconds. So I just go right over my eyes, right over my eye makeup and... So then I use one of these um, washable toner pads and I use Bioderma on it, which takes off makeup. And it's like, a, it's just a Meissler water. It's basically like soapy water. Just another layer of cleaning. Skin gets very pink and irritated when I wash it. It's very vulnerable for me to be on camera right now with my skin like this because I've been very self-conscious about my skin and that's something I've never had to deal with, luckily. But I've never, I've just been so self-conscious about it. It's driving me absolutely insane. Now I'm gonna use this Dermalogica Intense Moisture Cleanser. Bitch, what the hell? What am I doing wrong? Open this way. How long though, Dermalogica? <laughs> okay, I'll be here the rest of my life trying to open this. Oh my gosh, this is so annoying. Seriously, what the hell? <laughs> I give up. All right, we're just gonna do it like this. Who else gets lazy trying to open things that are being stubborn and just opens it that way? I also wanted to try their other cleanser. They have something called the Special Cleanser. And um, they didn't have it. It's very popular. So yeah, I've been like making sure I cleanse the full 60 seconds. She says to sing the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air song. It's a really good 60 second reminder and it's Always fun to sing. I just said I wasn't gonna do like a full skincare routine. I'm not doing like the full, full on shebang, but let me show you a little bit more. I've been using this Polish Choice Weightless Advanced Repairing Toner after I cleanse. Just to bring my skin's pH level back to baseline. Then I've been switching back between either the Sunbeam Serum, which is Niacinamide B3 Serum with Aloe, Avocado, and Hyaluronic Acid, or I'll just go in with straight Hyaluronic Acid and then Niacinamide after that. Today I'm just gonna use some of the Terabusi Creek Sunbeam Serum. I do have a discount code for this. This is handmade, vegan, shop small, y'all. You guys know I love to buy from small business owners, especially women owned places. And this is such a great like moisturizing but also effective serum. I've only been using it for a little while and I really like how it feels on my skin and my skin reacts super well to it. You can use the code Kendall Ray actually for a discount on that website, I'll link it below. And then I'm gonna wrap up tonight with this Ultra Repair Cream from First Aid. And let's see, no smell, that's good. And it feels very hydrating.
So yeah, there's like kind of my skincare routine in the works, you know? Don't rip me apart telling me a bunch of things I need to get or things I need to stop using or what I'm doing wrong because I'm too sensitive and the whole skincare thing's been really exhausting and honestly, I can't keep up with everyone's opinions. But honestly, but I am gonna go take a bath, unwind. I love taking baths at the end of the day. Thanks for watching the vlog. All right, I will see you next time.